All right, here we go. I've been sitting here a while uh, thinking of what to uh, demo, and I figured uh, we need to take a look at GRI Triple Eight Eight Hundred Two Dot Eleven. And to do that, I'm going to use um, an X Three Ten. This is the first time um, kind of having hands on a uh, radio of this quality, I guess you'd say. Um, it's got a Twin RX 80 card inside of it, and so we're going to use Dragon OS. Uh, this is uh, uh, running on a laptop here that actually has an i7, a pretty good processor, uh, so we'll give this a try. Uh, I've got a gigabyte Ethernet connection hooked up to the X310, and uh, yeah, this is pretty much the first uh, Ethernet connected um, SDR that I've had a chance to mess with. So to get it going here, I've got Dragon OS Focal uh, R8, which I uploaded the other day. Some minor changes uh, to it, some updates. Um, nothing in terms of UHD though, so uh, the R7 should be fine. But I'm going to come up here under uh, Wired Connection 1, change it to uh, Method Manual, and uh, we'll add an IP address here statically, 192.168. 10.1 is fine. Anything really other than .2 because that's going to be the X310. Add a net mask. I'll click off of that. I'll click save. That uh, should let us find the device. So we see we've got the X310 here. And so you're going to go to the user source GRI AAA 802-11 examples folder and we're going to take a look at the flow graph that's here Wi-Fi receive because uh, I have receive only radio so I'm going to open this up uh, we'll open up we're going to make a couple changes I'll open up the source here which is already set for USRP I'm not going to make any changes other than let's see I'll put it on RX1 I'll hit apply OK Come down, we're going to turn a file sync on, and we're going to turn the Wireshark connector on. Let's save that to the desktop here. We'll save the flow graph, which will also generate the Python, let's see, the .py, yep, it's sitting there. Okay, that should be all the changes we need to make to that. So let's close that out. Now, I've got my other terminal open here. Again, let's go to user source gr-ieee802.11, but this time to the apps directory. And let's do a pseudo nano rx demo. And I was actually messing around with this earlier, so we should, should be able to get it to work here. I made no changes except for, it's looking for a flow graph, does all this, sets up a tap. Uh, I just changed right here where it starts the transceiver. Would have normally changed to examples, uh, which I, I could have saved the um, PY file there. But I went ahead and put another line right below it. Just follows right after it changes directory to my home Dragon desktop. So then it can find uh, in the very next line dot forward slash flow graph, which is referenced up above Wi-Fi underscore RX dot PY. Then it's going to start Wireshark and everything else. So this is all included in Dragon OS already, already set up. So let's see here. I've got a 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, antenna attached to the RX1 on the X310. And let's see, let's go, we're going to run this .sh file, which is going to reference the Wi-Fi underscore RX .grc sitting on my desktop, as well as the PY file. And then it's going to put a uh, in the temp directory a pcap file. So what's going to happen here is once I get this set up, I might have to edit some of this out. It's going to open these up, and we're going to see MAC addresses. Uh, all right, so I'll take it up to channel one because I know there's something there. So we're looking. I'll make some changes. I'll bump up the gain. I'm going to take it from the sample rate 10 to 20. All right, I'm back. I had to um, 
I'll, I'll cut a segment of the video out. I just lowered the bottom half of Wireshark. So where did I leave off? So I bumped it up to a sample rate of 20 megahertz. It's on channel one. T took the grain up a little bit. And now everything is being pumped into the Wi-Fi.pcap file, which we can see it's populating and working. So we're receiving Wi-Fi with the SDR now. Uh, pretty impressive. I'd be curious to see, uh, you know, if it was unencrypted um, network. I'm sure we could probably get, uh, uh, you know, the information that's flowing across there, all with a uh, SDR. Okay, so I have to think, uh, you know, if anyone thinks what to add to this while I still, uh, you know, I'm borrowing this uh, radio, let me know. But uh, finally, I can show how to kind of get up and running with GR. 802 um, or IEEE 802.11 so pretty impressive uh, next up if I get uh, a transmit card I, I will probably actually I probably could do it with the B205 mini um, send and receive with Wi-Fi that'd be be pretty cool so all right uh, and then I guess I'll end this with uh, let's close this out try to close it out clear the terminal I figure while I'm recording, I might as well I'll show some additional things here. If we go into SDR Angel and we open this up, it uh, works really well, uh, well with this X310. I just find that uh, we need to find a device. It lists three of them for some reason there. I select the one. I make sure that I have selected an antenna because it's not filled out by default. And I've already got a channel added, uh, but I'll just show what the spectrum looks like here. So turn this volume down. So we're going to probably get some um, overrun errors here. Uh, let's take this up 25 all the way up to 50. So that's... Uh, you know, 50 as high as I can go in here. I don't know if that's because of how I have it connected uh, or if it's something with SDR Angel. But there's uh, 50 megahertz, or well, 50, yeah, the sample rate is far, and then as far as the bandwidth. So that works uh, really well. And then let's see, let's take a look at uh, one other application. Let's look at. Uh, Let's look at SIG Digger. We haven't um, looked at that in a, in a little while. This is one of my favorites. It's using the SOAPY backend. Let's see. We can see it comes up. It sees the UHD, selects an antenna. I'll take the sample rate down a little bit for now. Let's go ahead and start this. No, I don't want to decimate. And here let's take it up to the 2.4 we can see some um, activity here as well <clears throat> hmm. all right so there we go there's a Pretty cool use of the X310 and then just showing it uh, running um, in some other applications. Uh, it should work in GQRX as well, 2.13.5. Um, let's see, I had set it up earlier. I see the Edis. I can take the input rate up. I'll just go with a triple eight here. we can see that it's working in here as well. There's some gain settings that can be played with. Um, probably make that look a little better. So, alright. Thanks. Uh, look forward, you know, if you think of anything else to do with the X310, uh, let me know.